day of the final leg. Aston Hill had flame out going through the bridge, the narrowest part of the river. A, a Walt data wire fell off. Got a wire came off the alternator excited wire, so it uh, cut out and um, we thought it was all over, but he got it going again and ran upstream and pushed our way through, but yeah, we finished the day and um, yeah, she's a bit down on power now, but we got there in the end. Despite those dramas, Justin did win A-class honours. Tom Kelly also had alternator issues on the dart today. They thought they'd fixed it, but pulled out after leaving Queenstown Bay. Nigel Cromie won fastest on the dart and won the Ralph Brown Memorial Trophy. Regal Williamson beat him on the shot over. Third place competitor Nick Sullivan had a bolt come out of the bottom of his nozzle, losing steering. Interesting, a guy on the side of the river lent him a bolt, put it in the steering and continued on up the river. And Sean Kelly loaned him his nozzle at the top. Even though Nick got going, he was outside his cutoff time. Technically, he didn't finish every leg, so he couldn't claim third outright. We were disappointed, obviously, we would retain the class place, but we're fourth. But Sean Kelly wasn't without his problems. Now, Sean actually owns this river just about with the amount of tours he goes through there. But hey, he, had, he blasted off a rock. His navigator was under the water when the boat was so low, but they did get through. A little bit of damage to the side of the boat. Had a fresh wave, flicked us right up, and we're heading straight for the rock. The rock wall and went right over on its side. Joe got wet head, bounced off that, and right at the way we went. So, pretty exciting. I thought we'd get it was all over for us, actually. So, Sean Kelly is now the new NZ2. Why is Sean in second? Sadly, Mike Pooley, who drove an extremely good race without any problem, had an engine failure, and he's high and dry, because what happens in a jet boat? No engine, no steering, you're in for the ride. That means Greg Simpson, in an FX boat, believe it or not, started and finished every leg, ends up in third, and gets NZ3. <laughs> <laughs> Three happy for we FX boat, it's, uh... Yeah, it's good. Great. We've got our winner, of course, John Derry, five times New Zealand champion. So he's got his NZ1 back again, which is unbelievable. He's a very clean run. He drove a tactical race too. He drove to finish without any problems. His boat has not got a scratch on it. It was a tough one, really tough, to be honest. And that last day in that gorge was, I'll tell you what, we were, we were certainly thinking about coming down. It's a, it's a, uh, we've got a big boat and coming down through that gorge was, was bloody tough work, to be honest. So uh, very pleased to see the finish line. It's been a great event, we've had great weather, everything's gone pretty well, you know, and uh, finishing in Queenstown's the pinnacle of, of racing, I guess, and that brings everyone here, and we've got a lot of boats finishing, so it's great uh, uh, for us, you know, it's great we've uh, won the title, and hopefully we can try and repeat it next year, but it's a good start, I guess. So John really deserved that win, and that's a good lineup for next year for the Worlds. That's it for this year, 2016 Riverboat Racing, sponsored by ITM and Design Windows. Hope you've enjoyed it. Looking forward to catching you next year for the World Championships in New Zealand.